classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. Confirm facial identification.
Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker.
Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government Probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Sir? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? 
I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. 
If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander.
shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the...
Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out.
this world was safe until the Geth showed up.
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door! Before they come back! How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. No one is saved! The age of humanity is ended! Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain! Can you tell it's me anything? It's some miraculous We have unearthed all. Manuel, please. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides. Is it madness to see the future? I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard! Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy. And dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Miraculous new technologies? Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander.
Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Commander, it's Nihilus. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us all along. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy?
If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... and it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down!
Let's get the bastards. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. 
We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed? Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. I don't think it's as simple as that, sir. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, William. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Everyone on this ship has to do his or her part, Williams. Remember that. Understood, sir. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted, right? I wanted... But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding. Never think you made the... So but there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like... I, I should go. Goodbye, Commander.
Glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance 
granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Allow me. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous gu- I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals. Give me the tour. You are standing- On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel. Ex if you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is Goodbye. Located. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. 
What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally. Since then, the three Council races have worked together. It can't together. be as simple as that. There I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. 
He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. 
Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. What are those cherry trees? Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. And you can bet the Volus will be right on their boots. the keepers please do not disturb the keepers welcome to presidium tourism terminal 2 you are standing near the base of the citadel tower one of the presidium's most recognizable and important structures behind me is the spec 
To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the Tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Tell me about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the Tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, the Council Chamber... Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let. Any progress with that, Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the Evangelical Permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar.
Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as... Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the Evangelical? However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Welcome. For your convenience, this terminal is programmed with information on the tower. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected.
find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. And keep your eyes peeled for our mark. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see.
Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want... Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. Your Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. on this ward to buy upgrades. Prices are pretty good here. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Terrio from another. This is the place! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment? What do you need? I've been hunting. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it.
That's him. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. The captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Business here, but not with you. Back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? 
Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Yeah, what do you want? What's it like working for CSEC? You mean what every man skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You got off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for CSEC isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance ranks. The so. captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. But if he's so great, why the Spectres? You need to look in a mirror. Save your sermon. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Yeah? What do you want? What's it like working for CSEC? You ever skim a couple of credits off a drug bus? No. no. What do you know? Yeah. You'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly feet. How well do you know? That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. Mili What's it like? Skim a couple of credits off I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Human military. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. 